Hello, space adventurers. I am Nerion, and welcome back to another episode of Citizen Bytes. For our new viewers, this series is all about delivering Star Citizen content in bite-sized portions. Whether we're reviewing ships, comparing equipment, or showcasing some gameplay from my streams, this series has got you covered. And today, I'm going to be just diving into the upcoming Star Citizen 4.0 update and just sharing some of my views on this as well. The aim is that this should be releasing during quarter three of this year. Um, so let's jump into it. So first up is characters. Yes, Star Citizen 4.0 will bring even more customization options. So if you thought your space beard couldn't get any more majestic, think again. Additional hair, facial hair options, and face piercings will let you tweak your avatar until it's as unique as a snowflake, or as grizzled as a space veteran. It's definitely been very exciting to watch how this great game has grown very more detailed. Yeah, that's good English, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's become more immersive and I just feel like these updates for our character customization is definitely a great step forward. And when it comes to locations, of course we're supposed to be getting the Pyro system. This lawless and dangerous system is filled with rich opportunities and risky ventures. Think of it as the wild west of space, but with just more vacuum and less tumbleweed. Uh, we've got locations such as Monarchs, Pyro 2, uh, it's known for its deadly carbon monoxide atmosphere. Monarchs was once a terraforming candidate, but is now just a haven for the outlaws. The rugged environment here is perfect for those looking to test their metal. Terminus, Pyro 4, with an atmosphere that's technically breathable, but not exactly healthy, it is definitely the perfect place for a quick pit stop if you don't mind the methane and carbon dioxide. It is great to see more diverse and challenging locations being added to this game, so this one I'm definitely excited to check out. And then there is Pyro 5 and its moons, yes. This one is a gas giant with a family of moons, each with its own unique quirks. From the seismic activity on Pyro to the crystalline carbon-based vegetation on Vur, Exploring these moons promises to be an adventure in itself. Now, when it comes to some core tech improvements, of course, server meshing has been a big topic and it will be finally making its debut, aiming to improve load distribution and allowing seamless travel between the systems. Greater immersion and multiplayer capabilities are on the horizon, making the verse feel more alive than ever. It's definitely exciting to think about a universe where technical issues are minimized and it lets us focus on the thrill of exploration and combat. Hopefully this means those days of getting hit with frequent 30k errors are far behind from us. Fingers crossed. How would we get to the pyro system? Well, the jump points of course, that's what connects us and that will be implemented. So get ready to navigate these inner tunnels and explore new frontiers or just get hopelessly lost in space. <laughs> this feature has been eagerly anticipated and I'm happy to see it coming to life, expanding our wonderful verse. When it comes to engineering gameplay, yes, this is something new that is coming in 4.0 where players will manage, maintain and repair various ship systems You'll be dealing with item degradation, malfunctions, and power management. It definitely adds another layer of realism and strategy to the game and makes every role on the ship more engaging and essential. So those of you that aren't those keen pilots and looking for something to do while your buddy flies the ship, don't worry, there'll be plenty. Speaking of ships, of course, RSI is gonna be rolling out the Zeus Mark II ES which is a small crew multi-ship. A small crew multi-ship, wow, a small multi-crew ship. And then of course, there is the Zeus Mark II CL, which I did cover in a recent video, which is your small multi-crew cargo ship. So yes, whether you're hauling goods or just cruising the stars with some buddies, these ships designed to make your space life just a little easier. 
Um, the addition of these ships continues to expand the versatility of Star Citizen's fleet, and I can't wait to try them out. Next, we'll be covering looking at the fire hazards and solar bursts. Yes, of course, to spice up your adventures. What more would you want than new hazards? Fire hazards will, of course, track fire and temperature on static and dynamic objects, and solar bursts will require you to find cover from high-energy particle waves. Basically, space is trying harder to kill you. And these dynamic elements add the exciting new challenges for your space-faring journeys. Next we come to the MFD rework and new displays. This update will bring rework of the multifunction displays and the ship huds, offering you greater visibility and customization. Finally, you can stare at something other than a cluttered screen while your ship is falling apart. Improved interfaces will make navigation and combat more intuitive and enjoyable. When it comes to AI, well, let's talk about the Quasi Grazer. Yes, for you animal lovers out there, the Quasi Grazer is a large, warm blooded animal. And originally from Terra, they will be found on most terraform planets in the UEE and they are perfect for those moments when you need to relax and watch some space cows graze. Adding more life forms to the game I feel just definitely enriches the ecosystem and makes the exploration element of the game feel more authentic and worthwhile. In conclusion, overall I am super excited for Star Citizen 4.0. The update promises a lot of exciting changes and additions. From the new pyro system and server meshing to enhance player customization and engineering gameplay, there is basically something for everyone. It's clear that the game continues to evolve in meaningful ways, enhancing both the depth and breadth of our experience in the verse. So yes, as always, if you've enjoyed this episode of Citizen Bytes, please do not forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with more Star Citizen content. Feel free to leave a comment, share your thoughts. What are you most excited for about 4.0? Feel free to check out other content on my channel from game reviews and playthroughs, including a big focus on indie slash indie horror games as well. Anyway, that is all from me. I thank you for tuning in for this somewhat, maybe slightly entertaining episode of Citizen Bytes, and I wish you a safe flight out there in the verse or oh, see you amongst the stars i have once again been a non-professional gamer and we'll see you in the next one that's a wrap